So a few things we need to make sure we're doing with overhand pull-ups. We wanna make sure that when we set up into position, we are able to squeeze the shoulder blades into what would be a retracted and a depressed position. What we don't wanna see is, we don't wanna see ourselves in a very shrugged position, trying to pull while we stay sort of shrugged. That essentially isn't gonna to lead to a good contraction of the lat. The, lat, the lat is never quite gonna get into its sort of maximally contracted position. The shoulder is never gonna get set into a good position. And essentially what that shows is we're actually kind of pulling more with the arms than we are with the muscles of the back. So what we're gonna do our best to do come almost straight away when we set up into this position, we get our grip, we kind of flare the chest up a little bit, we sort of think rib cage elevated a little bit, and then what we try to do is we try to squeeze the shoulder blades down and back, and then we use that momentum to sort of start the pull up. From there then, that's when we start pulling with the elbows, driving the elbows towards the hip, keeping the shoulder blades pinched down and back, and pulling the chest all the way up towards the bar. So you can see here kind of a full rep. I get that shrug and then I pull all the way up. I squeeze, I hold, I make sure I don't just drop and completely um, sort of relax all the way down. I wanna make sure that I squeeze and I use that momentum all the way to the top position, controlling down. So big difference there between what would be um, the common thing you see of people sort of pulling with the arms being very rounded with their shoulders, even rounded with their posture. So make sure that we're getting that sort of elevation of the chest a little bit. We're squeezing the shoulder blades into a down and back position. And that's really gonna help us getting to the top for the pull-up, okay?